journalist opened up a document on his computer and began to compose his next podcast. He decided the theme would be about the Sankabetsu brown bear incident in Japan in 1915. A group of settlers in Hokkaido were attacked by a giant brown bear that was rudely awoken from its hibernation. The journalist decided to side with the bear and began a long diatribe about Marxist economics, environmental conservation, lack of sleep, 24-7 consumer technology, colonization, and the video game Ghosts of Tsushima. He purchased some royalty-free piano music set to a hip-hop beat that he would use in the intro. While getting a cup of coffee in his kitchen before recording, the journalist noticed an old yam on his microwave that was growing large magenta-colored fractal roots. He also saw a cockroach in a glue trap that was still alive. His little antennas on its head were moving around. It didn't seem scared. It just seemed like it was thinking, Looks like I'm stuck here and I'm going to die. This glue smells pretty good. The journalist asked the cockroach if it feared death. After a few seconds of thought, the cockroach said that it did not believe in death. Once its body stopped working, its consciousness would reconnect with universal cockroach consciousness, then parts of it would combine into a new cockroach ego that would implant itself into a baby cockroach that would be born behind the journalist's sink.
You have stolen the Sasquatch sex amulet. Who are you? We're asking the questions. Where is the Sasquatch amulet? I have it but you need to answer my questions. Okay okay, what question do you have? What is the Fuzz Dungeon? The Fuzz Dungeon is not a real place nor fully imaginary, but rather in between, like a caterpillar that has turned into a butterfly but has yet to emerge from its cocoon. Go on please. Maybe you are trapped in a co-worker's inarticulate powerpoint for a new adult cartoon or inside an email where someone is trying to describe their weekend ayahuasca experience. A drunken karaoke, a love poem, an attempt to sing an opera aria. Go on, go on. The fuzz dungeon is not real but it is reality. Our society is a fuzz dungeon. It is a sketch for something that comes later. It's a rough outline for a utopia that we all see in our heads but cannot fully express. It's a poorly thought out machine that we built anyway and it is blowing up in our faces. Okay thanks for the info. But I don't have your amulet. Maybe. I guess if you don't have the amulet we'll let you go and monitor your movements closely. Okay. See you.
hello, I am your friend.